So now to an issue that just won't go away. Rape. This week, a top judge attacked the Crown Prosecution Service boss over her handling of rape trials. Judge Philip Shorrock told Alison Saunders that many men accused of rape were, quote, unsurprisingly acquitted because both parties had been drinking or taking drugs. Miss Saunders blasted back that this was victim-blaming. This, the latest in a long line of clashes between the judges and the CPS, comes hot on the heels of the row involving Judge Lindsay Kushner. She said women were perfectly entitled to drink themselves to the ground, but had to be aware that men gravitate towards girls who have been drinking because they're easy prey. Common sense, you might think, but no, she too was accused of victim-blaming. But now the raped woman at the centre of the row, who has waived her right to anonymity, says Judge Kushner was right, that women do put themselves in danger by getting helplessly drunk. But are the feminist lobby and the terminally outraged brigade listening? Are they hell? Megan has told them they're wrong, but hey, they know better. But it cannot be victim-blaming to say that women shouldn't be wandering the streets off their heads on booze or drugs, because it does make them vulnerable to predators. Megan Clark knows that to her cost, and we need to listen to her. Uh, Carol, I think, um, of course, it, it's common sense that if you are drunk that you... Um, are likely to be more vulnerable, no question. I think anybody would agree with that. But my concern with your argument is it's almost sending out a message to men to say that this is fine. Because actually, uh, if... No, no, because if a woman is drunk and something like this happens, oh, well, you're likely not to be convicted. So for me, that is just way too serious uh, 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 a, a, a sort of a message to send. To... That's a huge stretch to go for. You know, is it really? Yes, well, it what is else huge, is yes, it? Though? It's not sending a message. Men are going to rape anyway. Men have been targeting no, vulnerable we're... girls no, for a long it... time. No, this is we're... not going to make them any more likely to do it. It's, and no one, you know, the judges that spoke out this week, this, this judge, sorry, he said quite clearly that the, a lot of rape cases are thrown out because both the man and the woman involved. No, listen, because both the man and the woman were drunk. And what that means is neither of them can give credible evidence. So the cases are chucked out. So if the woman was raped, she doesn't get justice because they were both drunk. So, and I and think, what message do you think that sends out? What, 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 well, what, what message should what it send else? out? You've got to say to women to protect themselves, don't get so drunk. You know, what gets me in, in all this is all these rape campaigners, the, the, the idea that of asking women to take a bit of responsibility, it's like totally wrong. You know, there was a, I think it was Sussex Police put out a poster last year saying, and I think this is perfectly sensible advice, saying to women, when you go out on a night out, stick together. Don't let one of your, your crowd wander off if you're drinking. That's common yeah. sense. Well, but the, no, the campaigners slated that. They actually said, you know, instead of, instead of targeting potential victims, target potential rapists. How can you target a potential rape, rapist? You can't do it. It's impossible. Especially if all the police are on the top of a bus. Well, exactly. <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> but I thought that was your argument you were making. I mean, what? aren't you confusing two... These two judges say very different things, and you're sort of linking them in together. Yeah. How do they say two Well, very one things? says, look, you're entitled to do, your, f your freedom is that yeah. you're entitled to do what you want. But, but be, here are the dangers. But be aware. Yes. yes. But be aware of the yeah. dangers. Yeah. Yes. And it was quite interesting when you saw the, the girl who had been raped, mm. when she was interviewed, mm. what she actually said was, she said, I wouldn't have reported this, actually. Well, someone, you, well, no, someone, no, no, no. someone else took a video of it, and that's the only reason. Otherwise, I wouldn't have reported Precisely. it. I was too well, let's, well, let's, but let's Precisely. hear what she actually said about what the judge said. She, th she said, I think the judge was absolutely right yeah. in what she said, but it was taken out of context. She put the blame massively on rapists, not victims, which she, she actually did make that message loud and clear. She just simply said to be careful, basically, which is smart advice. You need to be careful, but she wasn't at all victim blaming. But and the I thing you're missing out right. is what Greg just said. The second part of her statement was had there not been that video footage, she would not have felt confident enough Why to not? Why wouldn't it? she have felt confident to Precisely for it? what the judge is saying, no, because she do, was drunk. You know, well, I tell, no, well, I tell you why women are not confident about reporting rape, June. It's because 80% of all reported rapes 
Or they're just not dealt with. Yeah. And, and the 20% that do go to court, only 10% are ever convicted. convicted. That's why g d girls don't report. And girls that's why we should not make women because, feel Because even... girls like this are savaged in the witness box by defence lawyers who don't have any evidence and make them out to be loose women. And they, It's also they don't report it because it takes between one and two years to come to but trial. But that's why Judge Sorex's comments are so reckless because that's exactly what's going to happen. Less and less women will report. But not, because of, like not because of the drunk thing. It's because of all the other things that I've just mentioned. Well, sure. can I just um, pick up a statement uh, from Alison Saunders, uh, the Director of Public Prosecutions, and what she said is, it's always disappointing to hear yeah. views express that lean in favour of the victim-blaming culture that allowed sexual predators to offend with assumed impunity in the days gone by. It is our job as prosecutors to make objective charging decisions based on the evidence rather than the discredited rape myths that skewed the system against victims. Mm. Precisely. Before we move on, I just need to correct something I just said. I said 10% of the cases that go to court, I think. It's 10% of all rape cases okay. that actually, I think. But, but I mean, victim blaming, I hate this phrase, especially the advice that's it being exists, given is though, about Carol. helping women, Michelle. OK, so I'll say a few things. So, first of all, if um, anyone's assaulted, they need to be able to feel confident in going to the police and, yeah. and they need to feel confident that actually they'll get a a fair, you know, fair hearing and wouldn't be discriminated against and all the rest of it, regardless of whether they were drunk, sober or somewhere in the middle. You know, I've been out in the pubs uh, before and I do believe that you have to have a, an element of personal responsibility. I'm not talking about rape, I'm talking mm -hmm. about life in general. Yes, yeah, you yes. do need to be mindful of what you're drinking and how you're drinking and where you're drinking and, you know, keeping your eyes on your drinks. But we've all been in that situation where you might think you're reasonably sober, you open the door yeah. and then all of a sudden it's like, woof, and you're not. Yeah. Um, and, and that's fine, it's okay to be drunk. It doesn't mean that you deserve anything. I think that um, there's only one person to blame for rape, yes, and that is the rapist. Yes. That you, is a very but, simple but, fact. But women, we have to take precautions. We, take, we tell our kids not to get into cars with strangers. We insure our houses in case they get burgled. And yet we, we, we take less care of our own bodies and our own personal safety. Carol, but I think Greg, what Greg said is, is spot on. These are two different arguments. Yeah, of course are. we should be telling women to be careful. That goes without saying. That's common sense. But my well, point is... If you this are woman drunk, this woman, something happens this woman to you, we do not need judges making comments like this so that you feel even less Judge secure Kushner to actually report it. Judge Kushner was castigated for, for saying I'm women should be judge Sorrow. Well, let me talk I'm about Judge, sure Kushner, judge Kushner, Kushner was castigated. She was castigated. She was called misguided. She was called, oh, has a she, was called, she was called misguided and outrageous for what she did. And she was, you, well, you should have seen the abuse she got at the time. This is a 64-year-old mum of two. Can we get Nick, Nick in? Well, I, obviously, look, it just seems to me very simply this, that you girls can... It's hugely empowering to drink as much as you possibly want to, but it could be deemed to be rather stupid as well mm. at times. But everyone can accept that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And I would suggest that the judge's comments is merely saying, just because this girl has a drink, it doesn't mean, of course, that doesn't make her responsible no. for, for the, what was subsequently committed but she should just be aware of that. And that's all I think the judges are trying to well, say. That's, 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 one that's what one of them said. Yeah. 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 I, think, I think the DPP, fine. I think the DPP, Alison Saunders, was, was a little bit weighted against that because what I'm hearing is, of course you can't do it. Of course it's always probably the man. I know they're cantoned, but mostly it's the man that's committed the crime. But you don't want to do yourself, as, Ka as Carol says, when you tell your children, don't get into a van with a strange man who says he's got puppies or kittens in the back, it's a kind of similar thing to I that. think I understand Judge Kushner's comments, but I think Judge Sorex's comments but what were he, completely But what he said was, was completely factual. He said that a lot of the rape cases that come before him, he has to throw out, because generally, both of them, on a regular basis, one or both, they know each other, and both were either high on drink or drugs. He said, right. so the case gets chucked out. And that's why the, the statistics are so bad. That's why the system lets rape victims down so badly. Because so what this. would you do about that? Do about what? Yeah. Well, what would you do about that? Well, I wouldn't, well I'll tell you what this I wouldn't basically, do. Basically, I, you see, I understand what he's saying. He's saying, basically, there's one person's word against another. Yes, and there's no and independent evidence. And there's no, other, there's no independent yeah. evidence, and therefore you've got to make a judgment. Yes. Yes, and he chucks the cases but, out. So he said you're very dangerous when a judge is So, so would you therefore that. go the other way and say, actually, you should believe the woman more than you believe the man? No, I wouldn't say you should. Absolutely, I shouldn't use it. I think that is also a step down the wrong road as well. Um, I mean, you know, we, there's, there's been a big story recently about, you know, should women be allowed to give pre-recorded evidence uh, before they go into court because of the trauma? And while I completely disagree, the, the way women are savaged in court now is that you have to make a woman out to be, to be of loose But I think morals. that's a different but, argument than this one. But, but Carol, yeah. can I bring in a video? Yeah, um, there's a really interesting TED talk uh, by a woman called 
Thordis Elva uh, and her ex-boyfriend who raped her, uh, Tom Stranger. Yeah. So let's have a look at this. Don't underestimate the power of words. Saying to Thordis that I raped her changed my accord with myself as well as with her. But most importantly, the blame transferred from Thordis to me. Far too often, the responsibility is attributed to female survivors of sexual violence and not to the males who enact it. Well, what else can you say to that? I mean... It's, well, you can, you can actually say that women can protect themselves more by not drinking. That's, that's how they can protect themselves. But this was a couple. Yes. So the point is... No At one blames women. We say yeah, that? I don't think there's. I don't think there's anything in the society that blames women for getting raped. I don't believe that that, that actually happens. However, but I, rather than have women be raped and then go through the trauma over the next ten years of trying to get over it, maybe they never will get over it. Instead of that, let's try and prevent it happening to them in the first place.